It's opening night at San Jose's Christmas in the Park. The line packed with families for a long awaited holiday season. That's pretty awesome. We were actually quite impressed. The event moved from downtown to History Park so people could stay safe in their cars for a drive through experience. <laughs> The Garcias brought their grandkids who've been waiting to get out and do something normal. It's safe, it's fun, the kids are having a good time, the lights are amazing. There are old traditions like booths and trees and new ones like a ballerina from the Nutcracker and multiple light tunnels. Pink is really it's cool. A good it's a good chain. It's pretty special since we've been cooped up all year. It's, so it's pretty really nice to get out and watch the community, be with the community. All of this took about six weeks to set up and they've added 160,000 new lights just this year. Seeing people's faces light up when they start to go through the, the, uh, the drive through has been incredible. Jason Minsky is the executive director and had to oversee the major transformation from the traditional setting like last year to this one. We've been, you know, doing Plaza Cesar Chavez for 40 years. Uh, we celebrated our 40th last year, so this kind of gives us something new to focus on. So cool! It goes from 4 to 9.30 every night through January 3rd. The cost is 10 to $20 per car. Plenty of tickets available, just not for tonight or tomorrow night. And you have to buy those tickets for a certain time slot online. Walk-ups are not allowed. Most families say for all that's changed in 2020, this one is lifting their spirits. In San Jose, Bye. Ian Cole, NBC Bay Area News.